Shemai, Yasha Allah, Yahawa, Allah Hayinawa, Yahawa, Ahud, Shemai, Yasha Allah, Yahawa, Allah Hayinawa, Yahawa, Ahud, Shemai, Yasha Allah, Yahawa, Allah Hayinawa, Yahawa, Ahud, Shalom Yasha Allah, Peace Israel. And what we said in the beginning was, Hear, O Israel, Yahweh our power, Yahweh is one. Barakatha Yahweh, Barakatha Yahushai, 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 Bahashem Rakakudash. Bless you, Yahweh, bless you, Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. Kahalayim la, Alahayinawa, Abinawa, Yahawa, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakudash, all praise to our power. Our Father, Yahawa, in the name of Yahawa Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honor to our teachers, the elder apostles, and all the bishops, great millstone, GMS. <laughs> Peace and blessings to the elect. All right. Shalom to the elect, whoever you may be. Okay. It's a quick impromptu, something that was on my spirit today. You know, so I'm here to uh, put it on wax. I pray this is edifying. The times we're approaching, it will all boil down to faith and favor. You know, because see, everyone wants to play games right now. You have a lot of men and women not taking the ministry serious. You know, <clears throat> jesting and joking and you know, making skits and, you know, you know, doing whatever Jake does. But the Lord, our God, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, knows how to sober you up, okay, to where you take him very serious. You're going to take everything very serious. And the way he's going to do that by way of these, you know what, I'm going to read it right here. I'm going to read it. I'm going to just read the scripture. It's by Ashrakai Yasharala, Ecclesiastes in the Apocrypha, chapter 5, verse 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in a day of vengeance. Right. See, by these gruesome, hideous judgments that our power is going to bring on Jake, it's going to make you want to get your your mind right. But for the majority of our people, it's going to be too late because, you know, our people are engulfed in the now. Basically, a bunch of Israelites that call themselves Israelites really are anti-Messiah. They're really atheists because they believe in the now. They don't believe in the kingdom of heaven, really. Which it begins with the people, but they don't believe in the physical manifestation of it coming either. All right, which is why Jake is not serious. The way our people are behaving, when I say our people, I'm speaking about Israel in general. You know, with the exception of you hopeful elect. Yeah, I don't think like this. But the way the non-elect of our people are behaving, you would think as if America's not going to be destroyed. You would think this place is going to be here forever, and that's not the case. Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to sweep this place, man. You know, we in a time when he's going to do it. You know, we believe through the prophecies, faith in the prophecies, this has to be the generation he's going to do it. It only makes sense. You know? So we're not in a time playing games, man. But, um, you know, if brothers can, you know, I have, you know, four precepts I want to get, you know, um, we're going to get 1 Corinthians 2 and 5, 1 Corinthians 16 and 13, and 2 Corinthians 1 and 24. All right, and the last scripture is Psalm 106 and verse 4 down to 5. All right. You know? Which also, you know what, a brother can also get that scripture in the book of Galatians, chapter 6, where it speaks about the Israel of the Heavenly Father. 
Because, see, really, it all boils down to whether we're the elect or not. And Lord willing, we are. But um, that's really what it's all about. And it's so serious because we can't make ourselves that. That's the severity of his truth. You know, you have a lot of men that are self-proclaimed this and self-proclaimed that. You can't make yourself the chosen. You know, we can't make ourselves that. We can only hope that Yahweh Shimei Shai designated that for us in the beginning. You know? Hate these fucking Edomites, man. It's lucky, you know. That's one that's like a pet peeve of mine when um when Edomites park right next to me and it's a whole bunch of fucking parking spaces in the parking lot. And your red ass, you could park anywhere else, but you're gonna park your devil ass right next to me. I hate that shit, man. You know? You, you could you could have parked anywhere else, but you but you know it's okay. It's okay. Cause we we approaching the time too in our kingdom. Well, these devils gonna fucking leave us alone, man. And those y'all don't like how I talk, man. Please leave the channel, cause you had you know somebody that was complaining on one of my last videos speaking about how uh you know I shouldn't use language like that, and you can easily leave. Like we're not forcing you to watch our videos. And as much wickedness as the damn devil doing on the earth, you offended by how we talk? Grow up, man. You know. But see, that's the thing with our people. Like you have a child like mine. All the wickedness this damn devil's doing, but you offended by how we talk. Anyway, it shows you, man, Israel is unreasonable, you know? But Salaki, man, I got <laughs> I got distracted by this devil, man. Like I said, they could have parked anywhere else, you know? But um, getting back to it, we're gonna stay on topic. All right. Um, and we'll get a couple of other, you know, scriptures. We'll get some more precepts. You know, I want to do a better uh job. Of getting your precepts okay all right um this is in proverbs 18 and 12 before destruction the heart of man is haughty meaning proud but that shows the power of the heavenly father he can bring you low in an instant because you know for a minute you are all up there right <laughs> you know what i'm saying you pretty much, uh, what's the old saying? You get you get beside yourself. But the Heavenly Father knows how to snap you back into shape. Remember, like, nah, I'm, I'm only a man. And for you women, you remember, like, you're only a woman. You know, the Lord snapped you back into shape. But what's going to do that is gruesome judgments. Ugly-ass judgments. You know? Final destination type shit, man. Because that's what it's going to take to get Israel mind right. That's what it's going to take. There you have it. Oh, you can't make this up. The brother Diagons from Basra, he putting up a video. It's called, Don't Put It Off Till Later. <laughs> you, you can't make it up. The brother, just he putting up a video now, Don't Put It Off Till Later. Seek Him Now. We going into that right now in this video. In this live stream. Showing you the spirit of speaking. But who's listening? <laughs> you know? Who's who's really listening? You know what I'm saying? And see, what the Lord is doing, he's making it to where you Israelites are without excuse. Period. Okay? But reading that again, this is uh, by for our light affliction, which is but for a moment. Proverbs chapter 18, verse 12. Before destruction, the heart of, of man, the mind of man is haughty, meaning proud, exalted. And I got to quote the elder brother Taz one from Atlanta. He made a point a while back that resonated with me in the spirit. The flesh has its own energy. You know, this, this human body, it comes with its own energy. The, the flesh comes with a God complex, you know? Now, the brother, he didn't say it in those words, you know? I'm pretty much, you know, adding to what he said. But, but he made the point how the flesh has its own energy. But when you think about all the times you've been around individuals that were very proud and pompous in their mind, like people move around with no fear. Basically, human beings, they operate as if there's no most high when things go their way for so long. You know, they act as if they're responsible for all that. 
That's why, you know, the Heavenly Father, every once in a while, <laughs> he'll check you to remind you, nah, you know, you ain't do all this. I did this. But see, we in a time now, he has to do that to the whole earth. Okay? So before destruction, the heart of man is haughty. And before honor is humility. And that applies to us. So, you know, the reason why we're, we're uh, catching hell, as we say, as the scriptures say, really, the reason why we're going through the fire and basically being humiliated in front of our peers, you know, in front of our own people, you know, we're being made a spectacle, something to laugh at. Well, you see how UIC got all them goddamn jokes. That shows that they're not the prophets. They may know that they're Israelites, but IUIC, they don't come in the spirit of the prophets. They're making fun of the prophets. And we believe us here at Great Millstone, beginning with our leadership now, we believe we're the prophets. Lord willing, you know, because we, we humbly believe this. You know what I'm saying? But, you, but they're clowning us, right? They got all these goddamn skits and shit. You know? Which, um... For right now, I only got one on my spirit that uh, I've seen recently. But, you know, uh, something that came to my attention or was brought to my attention. Basically, I'm, I'm, I'm going to mention two things. The recent thing they did, IUIC was making fun of the names. You know, they had this, this guy, you know, dressed up, um, you know, in sackcloth, you know, with a metreon, with a turban on. And he had a staff. And basically... The subject came up dealing with, you know, the new moon, you know, whether the, the new moon is the uh, is the full moon or not. IUIC believes the new moon is the full moon. You're wrong on it. And then, you know, the you know, the guy that was using, you know, to pretty much clown us was saying how his problem was not the new moon being the full moon, which that's that's off. He said his problem is the name, how they don't know the name or had, they don't say the name. And then they said, yeah, how about you, shy? But they said it jokingly. And that's one thing you don't do is mock the Heavenly Father, man. Scripture speak about not taking his name in vain, you know. But y'all used it as if, like, like, like it's nothing. We'll see. We're going to see how it turn out. So that, that's a recent thing that happened. But something was brought to my attention. Something that IUIC and them did years ago. I want to say when they had their Feast of Tabernacles. Basically, they was making fun of uh, the names Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai during their Feast of Tabernacles, talking about IUIC now. Basically, they had Hebrew writing on a rock, but it was backwards. And it was supposed to be the name of the Heavenly Father and, 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 and maybe the name of his son, too. But um, basically, they was, make, they was poking fun at the names. And, and uh, you know, bros making the point to me, they was basically making fun of me. Because um, a while back, me and the elder brother Bun Yum Yum down here in Mississippi, we had went to uh, Las Lunas, New Mexico, to see the, uh, you know, the the Decalogue Stone, or you know, the, the Ten Commandments Stone, in La, in Las Lunas, uh, New Mexico. I'm saying it correctly, which technically is in an area that's called Hidden Mountain. It's um, it's it's near New Mexico. You know, it's it's uh. It's near Los Lunas, but it's in New Mexico now, but the actual area is called Hidden Mountain. And, um, you know, it's not too far from Albuquerque, you know, when you look it up. But that area is extremely hard to find. And me and the elder brother, Bunyam Yum, we did a lesson on the uh, Ten Commandments Stone in New Mexico years ago. My brother's making the point to me when, um, when IUIC had their Feast of Tabernacles, you know, they had the Hebrew writing on the rock. And they were basically making fun of us. How me and the elder had went to New Mexico, we did the lesson dealing with the names, man. And, you know, it was a pretty, it was it was a thorough but a concise breakdown on that Ten Commandments stone. Showing you how the tribes dealing with the northern kingdom, they wrote and spoke Hebrew. In particular, Gad and Issachar, you know. You could say Reuben too. The tribes that dealt here, or dwelt here, excuse me. The tribes that dwell here in uh in North America. Okay? Yeah, Gad, Issachar, uh, Reuben. All right. But all the tribes in the Western Hemisphere wrote and spoke Hebrew. You know what I'm saying? But IUIC made fun of us for that. We'll see how it turned out. All right.
because the heavenly father's not mocked, man. Okay, and um, basically, uh, once again, we're being humiliated for our belief. So, Lord willing, we have to be the prophets, man. Before honor is humility, and we're being humiliated or made fun of just for talking about the truth. That's the irony of it. But that shows you, Lord willing, we're coming in the stead of the ancient prophets. All right. So, um, we'll read some more scriptures. All right. It's about a prophet of Pasadena, Texas. Sirach chapter 5 verse 5 down to 7 And the brother put it up in the good news translation Don't be so certain of the Lord's forgiveness That you go on committing one sin after another Don't think that his mercy is so great that he will forgive your sins no matter how many they are Woo! That show you you can't just do what the hell you want to do You know for you people that was in church yesterday Celebrating some goddamn Mother's Day all right. You can't just do whatever the hell you want to do because people want to act like the laws are done away with, right? How it says, um, I'm going to read it again. Don't think that his mercy is so great that he will forgive your sins no matter how many they are. He does show mercy, but he also shows his furious anger with sinners. Let's read some more. Come back to the Lord quickly. Don't think that you can keep putting it off. His anger can come upon you suddenly and you will die under his punishment. And that's going to happen to two thirds of our people in America and you rebels around the earth. OK. Let's get something else. Romans 9 and 6. Not as though the word of the Heavenly Father have taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. And that's why we got to get that in Galatians. See, when Yahweh Shai comes back, whom the word ignorantly called Jesus Christ, he's going to look at the majority of our people like a bunch of damn Greeks and Romans. He's not going to claim you. He's not going to look at all our people like Israelites. He's going to look at the majority of our people like heathens, man. Only the elect of Israel are considered Israelites right now. You know, second Ezra nine eleven down to twelve is by healing sounds, and they that have loathed my law, while they had yet liberty, liberty is right now because we're under a grace period, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not but despised it. The same must know it after death by pain. And uh, that ain't talking about you dying and going to some damn hell dimension where you tormented forever. Nah. That means the Lord going to torture your ass in this lifetime. And um, the Lord knows how to get you. The one thing about the Heavenly Father, because he created all of us. He designed you, okay? He designed your your uh, your cravings, you know, the, the things you desire in your flesh. He also uh, designed your fears, you know. And that's going to come upon the majority of Jake. Why? Because you had a mentality that basically you could just do you. Basically, when you see um, the majority of our people right now. They're in the book of Judges spirit. When you read in the book of Judges, it speaks about how in those days there was no king in Israel. Every man did that which is right in his own eyes. Basically, that do, that do as thou wilt mentality, which is Satanism. You know? You have Alistair Crowley, that damn devil. You know? But, you know, he came up with that slogan, do as thou wilt. You know, shall be the whole of, of the law. I'm paraphrasing the quote, which, um, you know, this damn uh, old school rapper, you know, Jay-Z, he uses that. But, you know, with Jay-Z, he's a warlock and Beyonce is a witch. But showing you our people, they come in the spirit of, uh, of Esau Edom. They come in the spirit of the devil. You know, Jay, that's knee deep in the world. And even those that know that they're Israelites, 
That's why it's going to be a great cleansing within our nation, man. <laughs> hey, you got that, that Purge movie series, right? The Heavenly Father going to purge Israel. He going to purge Israel, you know? And Jake needed, it, man. But yeah, I'm going to stay on point, though. I want to get the scriptures that I've, you know, called out. Lord William Brothers have put them up. I'm going to call them out again. And the water for the precepts, by the way. We're going to get 1 Corinthians 2 and 5. 1 Corinthians 16, 13, 2 Corinthians 1 and 24, and Psalm 106 and 4 down to 5. All right, I want to stay on topic, okay? But yeah, man, Jake has no idea what's going to, you know, hit him. But you know what? They want it, obviously. Jake wants that hell to come up on them and their family. All right? But let's go. First Corinthians 2 and 5. That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Heavenly Father. Right. Because see, the big argument amongst these uh, numbskulls that you think that the so-called white man needs a microchip to, uh, to track everybody and you tra track your finances or to, you know, use this as the method, you know, to pay for things, you know. Everyone on the planet has to use this. Well, you know what? Reading that scripture again, that your faith, our faith, should not stand in the wisdom of men. Because the wisdom of man will think that ain't no way in the hell this man will do something like that. You know? That, that, that's what Jake think. But our faith doesn't stand in the wisdom of men. You know, because uh, recently Bishop Nathaniel double-backed again. And see, he keeps uh, remixing his breakdown. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And, and we catch it every time through the spirit of Yahweh about Shemia was shy because the Lord gave us the eye salve. You keep remixing your breakdown on the MOTB. You know? You sin is just sin, but then you you transition it to talking about, well, they're gonna use they gonna use us a sin dealing with finances. But but wait a minute. That that all goes to the MOTB. You can't speak about that and not mention the MOTB, what it really is. How it's a C-hip. You know? A device they want to put in you. Okay? That your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of the Heavenly Father. Because another thing, too, that's the power of the Heavenly Father to make this man do that. You think about it, the Lord putting the spirit on this man. And when I say this man, I'm talking about Esau, Edom. The Lord putting the spirit on these Edomites. You know, talking about the elite of them, not the average cracker. The Lord put the spirit on the elite of Edom to mandate this device for the whole planet to take. Every human being on the planet to take. That's the power of the Heavenly Father. And, and that has never happened before on the earth. You know, because Jake and a carnal mind thinks that ain't no way in the hell that can happen. Just for you saying that the Lord going to make it happen because the Lord know how Jake think. And you same ninjas would think that ain't no way in the hell we would have came to America on boats. Well, hell, the Lord had this man bring us to the Americas on boats, <laughs> you know. Traveling for, from a whole nother continent and brought over here. Because the Lord is all about proving his power, man. You know? Okay, now the scripture. 2 Corinthians 1 and 24. Not for that, we, we have dominion over your faith. And see, that's what these guys over at IUIC, ISUPK, and these other groups want. Speaking about the leadership, their leadership wants dominion over their flock's faith. Us three great millstone beginning with our leadership, beginning with our leadership now, because how they taught us, everything they taught us, they told us to look it up for ourselves, do our own research. So they didn't put themselves in a position to be uh, tyrants over us or have dominion over our faith. Nah. They had a spirit on them. 
what they knew or what they know, they want us to know. They didn't want us to be zombies. They didn't want us to blindly follow them. And when you pay attention, when you pay close attention, you pay extremely close attention to the leaders of these other groups, they want their members to be zombies. You know? And you guys have a lot of blood on your hands, man. Because you got to think about all these millions of Israelites, not thousands, millions of Israelites is going to take that sea hip. Okay? And, and you, by your teachings, you're going to be held uh, accountable. You're responsible for that. Okay? Not for that we have dominion over your faith. The real men of the Lord don't have that type of tyrannical spirit. But our helpers of your joy, they help confirm our belief. For by faith ye stand. At the end of all this shit, when this deal goes down, that's all we're going to have, brothers. And you few sisters out there. All we're going to have is faith. All right? Life, as you know, is going to change, man. You know? The way people are busy about, you know, their day-to-day, -day, out shopping right now, you know, going through fast food lines and getting ready for work tomorrow. This thing, this is not going to continue like this. You crazy? The Lord is all about his prophecies. It's all about the prophecies, man. You know, it's all about the prophecies. And it's contained within the prophecies that eventually this would collapse. This system would collapse and see that's where you get the uh the phrase by the uh the elite and and their lesser luminaries the great reset. They want to reset the uh the, the world economy. Or you could say world economies. They want to reset they want to collapse it and bring a new one. And it's going to be fully digital. So life as you know it is not going to be like this forever. But that's why we, we need more faith from our Heavenly Father. We need to be building up our faith. And also we need to be praying for that favor. All right. Taking advantage of this grace period. But also. What it boils down to. Who belongs to Yahweh Shai. And that's why we speak about. You know the, the blood of the lamb. You know. More so. Then, uh, then how well we keep the whole law because we're not in a position to keep the whole law. And we're not in the new covenant yet. You know, the Lord is preparing us for it. He's preparing us for that. We're going to take part in that when Yahweh Shai comes back to change us. But as of right now, we're under grace. Grace is where you get the word favor because you hopeful elect, you're his favorites. The Lord has favorites, you know. All right, let's get something else. All right, um, Bible shock and the brother get First Corinthians sixteen thirteen, and we're gonna get that in Psalms Psalms one hundred six and uh, four down to five. I'm gonna get this by a uh, GMS version Island Straight Gate, First Corinthians two and fourteen. But the, the natural man received not the things of the Spirit of the Heavenly Father, right? Because you thinking there ain't no way this man. Would, would see hip the whole earth because you carnal all right and you even have a lot of men on on the other end of the stick <laughs> you know the, the other side of uh you know the the defense you got men believing that there's not going to be a standard lifted we in the time we're going to need a standard lifted you know we're going to need divine intervention but a carnal man not going to think that you're going to think you can somehow get out of this. Ain't no way you can get out of this without the Heavenly Father intervening. You know, he has to, he has to uh, divinely interrupt what this man has going on. You know, the, uh, the main MO of this NWO is to completely lock everyone into this grid. So you mean to tell us that we don't need help from heaven? We're going to need miracles, man. You know, we're going to need assistance, you know, by the angels and brothers getting spiritual power. We're going to need all that. Everybody out here dying, you know, from famine, getting ate, you know, people getting ate, cannibalism coming back. 
you know, people being held hostage for food, all type of crazy shit out here. You know? People on some Mad Max type stuff, you know, you got Edomites with painted faces and painted bodies out on the roofs of cars, you know, swinging chains and shit. You know, people clicking up in gangs because it's power in numbers. And, and they see people that's, you know, isolated. They pray on the weak. You know, that's the time that we're coming into, but you really can't describe it. That's how bad it is because we're approaching the worst time in existence. And you mean to tell us we don't need miracles? That's why the Lord got to, hey, he, he's not only going to sweep America, but he's going to sweep you false teachers first. Before this place get destroyed, he's going he gonna to move you guys out the way, man. Because y'all not preparing our people for what's coming. You're not preparing yourself, so you're going to be taken and your members too. All right? As it's written, if the blind lead the blind, right? Let's read this again. 1 Corinthians 2 and 14, but the natural man... Receive not the things of the spirit of the heavenly father, for they are foolishness unto him. Because what's the things of the heavenly father? The things of the spirit of the heavenly father, understanding the prophecies. You don't see how that's going to profit you now. This profits us now and for the time that's coming. Because see, when Jacob's trouble is fully here, you're not going to be able to snap into shape and snap into the complete fear of the Lord and, you know, know how to maneuver because we're going to be maneuvering out the spirit of the Heavenly Father, out of the fear of the Heavenly Father and what he would want us to do in that situation. You can't just call yourself immediately, you know, coming into that. That's a process. All right. So this is foolishness unto you. Neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Right. You need, you need spiritual discernment, which the majority of our people don't have. Basically, the majority of Israelites are reprobate, man. You know, they're, they're void of the Lord's judgment. And, you know, to quote the elders in Dallas, some they said a while back, the downfall of the two thirds of our people, that's a part of the uprising of our nation. And when I say our nation, I'm talking about the elect. See, you really need people like this to do what they're doing as far as these false teachers. So you can make the distinction who the real men of the Lord are. And also that's a part of the power of the Heavenly Father too, because the Heavenly Father shows his power in small numbers. You look at us here at Great Millstone, it's not a lot of us. Now, we're worldwide, but we're not big on pushing numbers, you know? When you look at all our videos, every brother ain't getting thousands of views like that. Or, or hundreds of views, even. You know? Which they play with the views. But you see us, man, we're an underdog church. <laughs> we're an underdog gathering. But that's okay. The Lord deals with that. All right? Look at this by uh, the brother Tazer Mock. From uh, from Memphis, a hey, one bro. He put it up, and also the brother from Pasadena, Texas, a hey, one man. Galatians chapter six, verse uh, sixteen, and as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy, and upon the Israel of the heavenly Father. Cause see, it's all about those that you how was shy, you know really claims from the beginning. The, those that were with you, how about Shemiah was shot from the beginning? You know, it's, a, it's a deep thing. It's a scary thing, okay? But it's a truth thing. You know, it's all about what the truth is, man. And the truth is, the Lord is not coming back to save every single Israelite. Even amongst those that know that they're Israelites. You know, it's scary, man. The salvation is is uh, uh, slim, you know. But yeah, like we read earlier, they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. Why? Because the Lord has an elect. 
okay? And everything that's playing out right now, it's all a part of his movie. We're a part of his movie, you know? And the and the, the best thing we could do is fight and, and pray to our Heavenly Father to continue. You got to be glad that what they're doing, you're not doing. You got to be glad it ain't you, you know? And pray that he keeps us, okay? Because we don't keep ourselves. Now, um, when the Psalms, Psalms chapter 106 and verse 1, and Bible was shot, bro. Well, hey, he, he put it up. I don't even got to ask because he, hey, the water, bro. This is by Ashra Ka, Yasharala. We're going to start at verse 1. We're going to read down to, uh, to 5, okay? In Psalm 106, praise ye, Yahweh Bashim Shai. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endureth forever. The proof of that is we're still here. The Israelites still exist. So we're living proof that his mercy endures forever, right? Verse 2, who can utter his mighty acts? Who can utter or, or speak about the mighty acts of Yahweh? Bashim Yahushai, who can show forth all his praise? The Israelites. And we're really going to do that once he makes us immortal. But, but before we reach our immortality, because that's the goal of this truth, we have to go through Jacob's trouble. We got to go through the straight gate. And none of these Israelite leaders outside the Great Millstone are preparing our people for the straight gate. That position of difficulty, what, what it says in the, in the scriptures, um, through much tribulation shall we enter the kingdom of the heavenly father. Much tribulation, tribulation equates to trouble. Hard times, man. And that's what's coming. So shall we be having parodies and skits about Israelites that really do the work? You know, making fun of the name and, you know, having fashion shows and music on iTunes and reality shows. Jake is out their damn mind. Debating, having these debates and Jake isn't serious, bro. Are we in the time for doing any of those things? No. You know the answer. Verse three, blessed are they that keep judgment, that keep the prophecies, What's, what's contained within the prophecies? Judgment. <laughs> it, it is what it is. You know? It is what it is, man. Because as of late, the spirit been harping on how eventually the society gonna collapse. And eventually it's very soon. I, imagine the majority of people locked up in detainment centers. Detention centers. Concentration camps. FEMA camps, what Hillary Clinton called them a while back, fun camps. Imagine the majority of people locked up in fun camps. Oh, they're going to have fun with you, Jake. Seeing you suffer, seeing you starve. See hipping you in them camps. You know, that may take place in these camps. You know, it's a great possibility. But, you know, torturing our people in these camps. You look at how they treat the different tribes that's coming through the border, man. How they detain them. Them and their little ones. E is showing you how they feel about you, but just wait. See, we not in Jacob's trouble yet. They really gonna show you. This man has robots. They have drones. You know, they got smart bullets. They, they can shoot a bullet. They can track your ass. Okay? But Jake think we in the time playing games, man. <laughs> Bless all they that keep judgment. Keep these prophecies. Well, yeah, how would Shai say? Hold that fast which thou hast. Right? And you know what? You can't hide from, from, uh, from this hell that's coming. There's nowhere you could go. All you could do is trust in the Lord, man. Now, I'm a Lord, we'll do a response to this video. It's an older video, but it's pertinent to these times. 
It's a video by this one guy. His name is uh, Florida Marquis. And he's on YouTube. But um, he had a video some years back. You know, not too long ago. But uh, the video was called Where to Be When the Shit Hits the Fan. And basically, speaking about in that video, how a lot of preppers, they have the mentality, if they go to these different rural areas in America, that they go to different country parts in America, that they'll be safe. But, but you know, this man was making a point, you know, Florida Marquis was making a point that the government is going to release the prisoners. You know, when this society collapses, the government is it going to see it profitable to continue to uh to feed these prisoners so they're going to let them go you know and then he was making a point where you where do you think these prisoners are going to go to what do you think they're going to desire a lot of them were locked up and they feel that they're innocent you know they want to take vengeance on the society how they've been done wrong he was like, these prisoners, they're going to find us some cars. They're going to gas up. And they're going to go to your different rural and country areas. You know, he's speaking about these different preppers in America. He was like, you better hide your daughters. You better hide your wives. Because, you know, these prisoners, they, they're, they're going to get your women. They, they, they're going to, you know, pretty much bring hell on society. So we come into a time that's going to be very, uh, very strange, okay? And, and a lot of these prisoners, especially if they've been locked up for a while, they have a very dark aura about them. You know, because they got they got evil spirits on them. So you can only imagine the, the horror that's going to be coming to the society, man. You know, a lot of these men, they, they probably felt like they would never get loose. Well, the Lord going to make it to where they get loose. They, you know, they, they're broke free, so to speak. You know. But yeah, when all hell breaks loose, all we can do is trust in the Lord, man. You know? But, but you know, prepare ourselves. Prepare ourselves. Prepare our people. That's the job of a prophet. Okay? But let's get back on topic, you know? Blessed are they that keep judgment, and he that do of righteousness at all times. So we're not in the time of turning back. You know, we got to pray to the Lord to keep us. Keep us here. Because for all these jakes that went back into the world, it tells you in the, the book of the prophet Ezekiel, none of their righteousness will be remembered, man. You know, Jake going back into the world or Jake changing the doctrine, which is just as bad as going back into the world. You know, you through. You're not going to be protected in the time to come. And the worst thing for an Israelite, it's, especially in this time we're living in right now, is to not be protected by our power, man. You know? Or to be an Israelite that was mocking the name. You making fun of the name, all hell and broke loose. All hell break loose. Now you calling upon that name, but that same God that you made mockery of is not going to defend you. That's the worst thing for an Israelite, man. And we coming to the time where it's going to be like that for a lot of Jake. Because they didn't take this thing serious. All right. <laughs> Salak you. But it says, um, let's get verse four. Remember me, O Yahweh, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. We need favor, brothers. Jake want to boast in how well they keep the law. Bro, we filthy, man. You know? Now, we still keep it to the best of our ability. But then when you meditate on uh, on our situation, we're, we're, we're drenched in iniquity. Like, we're, we're through. Hey, well, this is in the book of the, uh, let's say, Prophet Job. Well, Job was a prophet. You know? The man of the Heavenly Father, Job, he was a prophet. There's a lot of prophecies in the book of Job. But, but you know, it says in Job how man... Man drinks iniquity like water. But you think you could be justified by the law? Now, he said that back then in the ancient world. How much more now? You drink iniquity like water. Basically, we're, we're 
through. <laughs> and uh, you know, we say through. You know, got that from uh, Eldia Shawamba. He been saying that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we through. Period. Without Yahweh Shai, man. Without Yahweh Shai, we're through. Okay? So what can you do? You know, pray for mercy. You know? Fight and you keep the law to the best of your ability. But we need mercy, man. And scripture say our righteousness is as a uh, a filthy rag, which is a used tampon. That's your righteousness, man. That's in the book of the prophet Isaiah. So we need mercy, okay? Here it is, E. E is putting pork in water. You know, they have all types of different unclean uh, uh, chemicals in the air. We 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 uh, wearing mixed fabrics, you know. They 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 putting estrogen in the uh, in the food for the men, testosterone in the food for the women, you know. I mean, just everything is out of whack. So you can't be justified by the law, because scripture says if you break one, it, it says if you offend in one point, you're guilty of breaking them all. So what do you need? You need a savior. You need Yahweh Shai. You wearing your fringes everywhere is not going to get you on the chariot, man. All right? Read that again. Psalm 106 and 4. Remember me, O Yahweh, with the favor that thou bearest unto thy people. So we need favor or grace. O visit me with thy salvation. That chariot, that fathership. All right, now let's read some more. Um, that I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy salvation. Let me read that again, Salakia. That I may see the good of thy chosen, that I may rejoice in the gladness of thy nation. When you get delivered, when you get beamed up. But before we get beamed up, we got to go through Jacob's trouble. What's going to happen during Jacob's trouble? Hell on earth. Eden wants to cre create a complete prison planet. All right. If you figure out <laughs> through the prophecies, which you don't do it by yourself, you know, the, the Holy Spirit has to guide you. You know, the Holy Spirit navigating you through the prophecies. You see that this man Esau Edom. He wants what's called a, uh, a technocracy. A, a digital tower of Babel where everyone and everything is completely locked in to his system. Okay? So, we need something divine. You, you can't escape this unless the Lord is with you. And that's what we push it on our people, man. All right? To tell you, um, we are to tell you not take this man, Mark. D don't take that implantable device, Lord will, you know, YouTube don't hear me for saying that. All right. Sometimes during the live, they don't get you. But, um, I mean, hell, they hitting us for old videos, too. So, really, you can't escape it. They choose to take, you know, which, whichever video down that they want to. But, um, we're warning our people not to take that thing. Now, if you take it, that's on you. If you want to listen to these false Israelite groups, you know, these, these, uh, these Swiss cheese, you know, bootleg camps, and you're going to take that C-hip, that's on you. But you've been warned. All right? And I'll get another scripture or two. I mean, that was the point, you know. We need faith and favor to be delivered. All right? Which, at the end of the day, this thing is for the elect. We're not seeking to gather the masses of our people. We understand the prophecies. The majority of people going to die. But when I say majority of people, I'm talking about majority of Israelites. Okay? You guys want to make it seem like um, we're doing something wrong just by teaching the word. That's another thing, too. I'm going to get this by uh, Tazamak, Captain Tazamak from uh, Memphis. Isaiah chapter 29, verse 2. To make a man an offender for a word. Yeah, Jake pretty much act like we wicked just for breaking down the scriptures, you know? Like you had the whole thing 
you know, what they call it, the name doctrine. Oh, it's, it's a doctrine because we want to say, you know, the real name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? That's a name doctrine now. Nah, man. The name is a part of the doctrine. You know, another thing, they want to talk about the rape doctrine. Well, when you read in Deuteronomy, what's that, the uh, 22nd chapter? That's contained within the law. The law of our people, if that took place, how you would handle it. We never went out here telling our people to snatch up women, you know, lay hold on women and, you know, abuse them and, you know, take them by force. We never pushed that, man. We never said that. So Jake is bearing false witness. And for those of y'all that, that bear false witness, you're breaking the commandment. It says you shouldn't bear false witness against your neighbor. So what about that? You know? You calling on God and Christ? Scripture say, thou, thou shalt have no other gods before me. What about that? Jacob's so big on the law. You breaking the principal commandments. Okay? But we're supposed to be made out to be the bad guys pursuant to what the scriptures say. So they're coming up against us. That's really what the Lord wants, ultimately, because the Lord is going to show that he's been dealing with, you know, his men the whole time. Lord willing, we're his men, because ultimately it's about what the Lord wants, you know. That make a man an offender for a word and lay a snare for him that reprove in the gate. Yeah, that goddamn skit, you know, a parody, but that's fine. And turn aside the just for a thing of naught. Because why do you want members? Like, why do you want people to follow you? Basically, when you look at IUIC, they want men and women to follow them because of their image. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. IUIC make it all about them. You look at all them got, you know, I ain't going to say goddamn because they, they, they say some good things, some good things. But you look at all those videos, you look at all them videos, it's all about Bishop Nathaniel. It's all about his name. But they downgrade or they downplay the name of the Heavenly Father and the Son. The Lord is going to visit that group, man. He's going to visit that group. You turn aside the just for a thing or not, for nothing. Because if you keep teaching them that the MOTB is something else beside what it is, when that thing made mandatory, the majority of your following going to take that you know what. When this society collapses and they make that thing mandatory, the majority of your group, they going to take it. And their blood going to be on your hands, man. You got to think about it, man. How do these leaders sleep at night? They show you, man, Jake is just wicked, man. You know? You have no soul. You like you have no conscience. And you, you got to know you lying to these people. You would have to know. Anyway. Um, we gonna get ready to close it out, man. I pray this is edifying. You know. And yeah, we had got that earlier, bro. That in uh, Ecclesiastes 5 and 7. Which the water, by the way. You know. And um, yeah, that's right, brother. That's right. I'm going to get one more, man. We're going to close it out. This is by ambassador of Yahweh. Yahweh, Psalm chapter 9, verse 16. The Lord Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai is known by the judgment which he executed. That's, that's how you know, Salakia. That's how you know who the real God is, man. And that's how you know who his real men are if what they say comes to pass. The guys will talk about failed prophecies, this and that. We gonna see. Once again, during the time of uh, the prophet Jonah, was that, a, was that a failed prophecy? The destruction of Nineveh? The destruction of Nineveh came later on. It didn't come when the prophet Jonah wanted it to come. And Jonah gave a timeline too. So really, guys want to make fun of us. We in the spirit of the ancient prophets, man. Beginning with our leadership. 
you know, because guys want to bring up the year 2000 and, and um, you know, speak about how leaders was given a countdown. Jonah gave a countdown, you know, the, the man of the most high Jonah. And he was he was he was one of the Lord's favorites. You know, they a, a prophet. A prophet is one of the Lord's favorites, man. And we need favor. Which is different parts of the body. You know, every brother isn't a prophet, you know. But we pray to be accepted, man. You, you know, we have to benefit the Lord's truth. You know what I'm saying? But um, just making the point, Jonah wasn't a false prophet. All right. And what we say is going to happen. Because it's written. It ain't about us. We, we don't make this about us and our image. You know? Nah, man, what the Lord got to say about this, okay? So, um, reading that again, Psalm 9 and 16, the Lord is known by the judgment which he executed. The wicked, which are the Edomites, is snared in the work of his own hands. Right, because eventually, you know, it's going to come to a point to where E is going to be trapped. Like, you know, the Lord has man a trick bag to do so much wickedness just to make this man destroy himself. See, the end game of this NWO is to have everybody see hipped, you know, and the elite controlling all this, but they didn't, you know, they didn't remember their latter end. It's contained within the prophecies that they're going to slavery, man. Babylon the Great, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed and they're going right into slavery. You know? But one of, one of their uh, symbols, one of the symbols of the elite is the phoenix. And a phoenix is known for uh, for rising out of the ashes. You know, for example, um, Air Brothers isn't into, you know, Marvel Comics and all that stuff. But for those of y'all know about X-Men, you know about that one woman, uh, that character, uh, Jean Grey. Well, uh, you know, she became a phoenix, you know. Basically, you know, a phoenix deals with rebirth. You know, like you dying and you coming back and, and everything. But see, you Edomites already had a rebirth. That was called the Renaissance. See, once you go down this time, you're going down for good. So after the Edomites, when I'm talking about the elite of them, after they MOTB, the people that the Lord won't see hip, then the Lord is going to bring them down. It says that in Job, you know, the Lord going to rain on them while they're eating. He going to destroy your society by missiles right when you think you, you know, crown your enterprise with success. It's going to be over, man. <laughs> and he going to make you, he going to make you shoot missiles on yourself. You know? He going to make your, uh, your, your, um, your, your counterpart Edomites overseas shoot missiles on you and that's gonna be the end of your world man you know B but before that happens our hell is gonna break loose and it's mainly gonna affect our people that's why it's called jacob's trouble it's gonna affect jacob which are the poor we're, we're considered the poor in this society because we're on the bottom and they're gonna blame everything on you and see these other groups are not preparing jake but at the same time, it's a balance. We're, we're preparing you so you can choose to listen to who you want to listen to. At the end of the day, the Lord is sealing his elect, and that's it, man. Okay? You know, we're doing our job. You know what I'm saying? It's not our job to save. Yeah, how was Shai is doing that? We're just here to teach the word, and that's it. You know what I'm saying? So with that, I pray it's edifying. Lord willing, it was. I want to give all praise to our power. Call Halayim La, Allah Hayinawa, Yahawa, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rakakwadash. You know, the water Yahweh forgiving us, Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh forgiving us, Yahweh Shai. The water Yahweh forgiving us, Yahweh Shai. When we need him the most, okay? Double honor for our teachers, the elder apostles, the elder bishops, great millstone. Peace and blessed to the elect. Shalom.